Are you recording right now? Yeah. What if this is just a dream? Well, we're going to get good footage. <laughs> Want me to kick you? <laughs> so, uh, me and Austin are walking to the restaurant down the street. We're going to meet my dad for the first message he said he wanted to meet us at the bar so we could get a couple beers. But And then he sent me one thing, soda pop. Yeah, soda pop. So, we might be meeting for soda pop. We might be meeting for beer. Only you know. But they don't. So how do you do, Austin? Huh? How you do? <laughs> how you do? Stop filming me! <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's about a half a mile walk, so we'll be there in a minute. Bye. Should be like it. Actually, it's a ten mile walk. <laughs> actually, we'll be there in. Ready? <laughs> this is my dad's bike. Are you filming? Yeah. Say hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> Are you hungry? No. Oh. Hungry. Okay. Does that sound like mine? I don't know. I think yours is yours was louder, right? Was? Used to be. Uh oh. I like your I like your uh, your bug lenses. Say hi oh, to like, YouTube, Dad. He already like, did. I'm I know, like you Air. always bug. It. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube. Oh yeah. I'm like Air though. I don't like you. Like <laughs> Well, you just gotta act natural, or do a, a funny dance, and then it breaks the ice. Yeah. Like it's the wrong direction for the Harley way. Oh. I'll be going like this, and my hand is on the throttle, and I oh. can't. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you could be the one who invents the opposite side Harley way. The right handed Harley way? <laughs> Bye. Bye. So we're walking home. Ready to go? Yeah. Okay. that bike so we just uh, met for sodas and sweet potato fries Yum. at the diner Yum. down the street from the house hey it's dad what? just not, kidding not everyone on a motorcycle everybody on a motorcycle is my dad it's too cold but we're on our way home the sun is setting over the fields of grain it's beautiful it's beautiful. So, funny story about this place. I don't know if you can make it out, but it's a uh, it's kind of like a Asian learning center, I guess you would say. Is that it's an accurate description? Yeah. I think more specifically Korean. You know what Kuban was? I don't know. But uh, I used to take um, math education there. It's called Kumon. I don't know what language that is, but... K-U-M-O-N, right? Kumon uh, math. Basically, I was so bad at math that I had to take private math tutors, lessons. So I would go there like twice a week and have to do homework and uh, take tests and stuff. And then I would have to take work home and do it there and bring... So... Guess what? Yesterday I was starting to tell you a story about the Kumon building where I take math lessons, where I used to take math lessons. God knows I still need them. The camera died. So basically, um, I'm going to finish telling you the story now in my office. So, um, it's a story of me cheating. And that's why I'm terrible at math today, because when I actually got tutored in math, I didn't do my work, I cheated. Um, which you shouldn't cheat if you're watching this and you're thinking, I think I'd rather spend my time online instead of do my math homework. Wrong. Do your math homework. 
public service announcement. So you would get homework to take home, you would fill out the homework, and then go back and they would give you a test on the stuff that you took home and learned. So you would go and give them the paper, they would look through all your homework, make sure it was complete, and then give you um, a test book and, uh, and then a test. Uh, what I was doing is I acquired, I acquired a teacher's copy of the test book, which means it has the answers in it. So what I would do, oh, important fact, it was a completely different color than the test book that we were given. So we, I couldn't just pull it out of my desk and use it. Um, you would walk out the classroom door and down the hall was a bathroom. And the bathroom had access to the roof through a window. So I fold the homework up, I put it in my pocket, I go into the bathroom and I climb onto the roof. roof and I have the answer book up there and I, it stays up there. I don't take it home, I don't put it somewhere inside. It stays on the roof so every time I go back, I would go two times a week. And um, every time I would go back and get my test, I would excuse myself to the bathroom. Um, after a while, I had to start explaining myself. Like, uh, I think at one time I was like, "Yeah, I'm actually I have a really weak bladder and I'm on medication or something like that." I was. I think I had to be like 12 or 13 years old, maybe. I was. It was like maybe a year before high school or something. And so I was like, I would say stuff like, um, "Oh, I I had a lot to drink on the way," or "I'm I'm taking medication for my weak." bladder or something. I guess it was believable and I would be excused to the bathroom. I would literally take, I ha I mean, I, to make it not suspicious, I would go as fast as I possibly could. But I was doing it in like three minutes because I, I was pretending like I was using the bathroom. So I would leave and I would go on the roof and fill out the answers on my test quickly and then bust it back into the classroom, sit down and then pretend like I was writing for the next 20 minutes or so and then turn in my test and then get my next homework assignment to take home and yeah so oh one thing you say but Ryan you took the the work home and had to do the work there so you didn't learn anything well no because I had one of those teacher books at home too the teacher books for homework I had it at home so I wasn't stu I was not studying at home I wasn't studying at Kumon I was cheating 24-7 when it came to math. And then when I got into high school, math was like, you had to take like at least two years of math in high school, but I took the lowest possible math. And I think at one point it was called consumer math, which is like not, you don't do anything higher than like multiplication. And that's in high school. And then I got to a class called integrated one or math A, and that was just a joke. It was like easier than consumer math. So I got my math credits, but I didn't learn a darn thing in math. You can ask me multiplication tables right now. I, I can I could do the basics. Multiplication, probably. Division, yeah. When it comes to fractions and decimals and anything hard. And you know what's funny? I say fractions and decimals like it's so hard, but you know how to do fractions and decimals, and it's easy. I just don't know how to do it.